Hello and welcome to this mod review for these 9RT tractors. Now, these don't look a bad mod. Um, there's one big flaw we'll find with them in the game. It's not a flaw as such, it's something which, um, given these are probably modded in the States, is quite normal over there, but for the UK we would find it annoying. They come with no three point hitch on the back just the drawbar option. Well it's not a complete disaster for all implements there's not exactly too many big cultivators in the game we'd be able to use them we certainly be able to, wouldn't be able to put a big plow on them without using the tool carrier. That's about my only sort of uh, gripe with these really. Other than that they look really decent. If you start looking around at there's a few painted on bolts here and there but a lot of them look really decent. These stickers and decals are really clear. We've got various weight options on here and different track options. We've got 30 inch tracks, 36 inch tracks, US spec on this side, EU spec on this side. Both drawbar only, as I already mentioned. Got the new type grill, new type lights. I believe there's some link to custom modding with these two. We've got different track weight options, so we've just got idle wheel weights on this one. Whereas the EU spec one, we've kitted out with a full set of weights on here. We've got the um, frame weights and the idle weights along with full set of front weights. So you can see I've hooked the in-game horse cultivator to it, the Cruiser 12. And we have Dynamic Hose capability on here, which is very good. It's nice to see that. We can see we've got slightly different drawbars set up for the EU one. And um, the P2 shaft looks a little bit out of place in the middle there, the size that is. We've got the centre mount drawbar. If I was being picky, I'd say a couple of pins through the holes in the middle there would look quite good to hold the drawbar in the middle. Whereas this one has the full swinging range drawbar on here with a clamp down centre. So slight difference between the two there. And on the back there we've got air connections, the ISO bus plug, trailer connections, and six spill valves. We have six on the UK, same connectors, so all good there. See so we've got on the um, EU ones we have the different light boards and indicators on the back there, which we will have a look at. Let's just hop inside, have a look around the inside of the cab. There is something else I'll pick up on here, but it's not um, exactly the end of the world. So all the stickers are nice and clear in here. Got the new type textures. I'll twist all the way around, it hurts your neck to do that. Now we've got a pickup hitch release lever, which could have done with being removed, I think. Given there isn't a pickup hitch on here. And certainly the 8RT I used to drive didn't have one. Let's do our usual checks outside. So if we come to front lights and standard rear lights, works all the way back to the cultivator. We have a good set of rear work lights and a good set of front work lights, all of the new type, judging by how bright they are. left and right indicators and on the back and also a beacon now this is the other gripe I've got with this tractor it sounds a bit on the feeble side sound wise it doesn't sound like a 570 horsepower tractor to me I know it's going to upset some people that one. Could do with being made to sound a little bit beefier. Given the size, not like a 6215 or 6230. It needs some better sounds on it. So 
So we have got the joystick which moves in here. So that bit's all okay. No gropes with that. Steering wheel turns well in here. Just going to do an end across this field up here. See how we get on. So we should have enough horsepower there for this cultivator. When we look in the shop, I'll just point out what the issue was with these cultivators. Why well, we may need a tool carrier. I know these tractors are really built for drawbar pull, but um, it would be nice to have hitch on them, especially on the EU version. Still a decent mod, even with those two little grumbles, or three little grumbles aside. Let's cultivator okay. of how it performs in the field. So close you can see the detail in the radiator. Can't see any movement in fans or anything in there. With this one because it'd be buried deep under the hood there. Or bonnet, that might want to refer to it as. Tracks get dirty quickly. Let's do the wheels. issues of how that actually performs in the field and how everything connects to it. Let's take a quick look in the shop at it. So as we're on this page you might as well just look at what the issue here is. So drill wise we've got, well sorry cultivator wise we've got that one would go. The Horsch Tiger 6, the Amazon would not cruiser 12 we're using the bed now flexi coil and they're the only cultivators what would fit disc carrow similar issue got the performer 4000 the Vardstadt carrier and the Lemkin planters and drills we have the horse the tempo Looks like the Great Plains. There's a few things will go on there. Cedars. I think that's a bit small, but that would fit. The Lemkin, the Stara, the Terminator, and the Sea Talk would all go on there. So if we did want to use anything else, we would have to use the carrier frame the trial lifter to use plows or mountain equipment it's really a little bit frustrating but it is there to be used if necessary so the tractors themselves so we've got a custom modern logo there which suggests to me that's where these originate from they are credited where I found these so configuration standard, as it comes, bog standard, no weights anywhere. 600 kilo, 1000, 1400, 2200 kilos of front weights. 30 or 36 inch tracks, 36 obviously look very good. Standard tracks, standard with idle weights at 300, with one ton of weights. Wide tracks, with 300 or 1000 US or EU version we have 9470 9520RT 
and 9570RT. There are versions available to us. So, good mod, but from an EU point of view, could do with lift arms. Could just do with a couple of little tweaks to sort out things on there. So there's nothing major. It all functions as it should do. Biggest letdown for me is the sound of them. They need to sound beefier. They need a better engine sound to them. There's got to be something the sounds could be bored from. And next time you come across these, if I use them anywhere, they probably may sound differently if I've had a chance to get at them. But for now, that's where we're going to leave this video. So for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.